Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the slope and intercept functions in Microsoft Excel. The slope and intercept are two variables in the equation for a line, y equals mx plus b. m equals the slope, and b equals the y-intercept. So taking a look at these fictitious data have loaded into an Excel worksheet, I have one variable, GPA, and a second variable, the comprehensive exam. So let's say that we want to try to predict the score on a comprehensive exam with only the GPA. For this, we can use the equation y equals mx plus b. And to display the equation, I'm going to select a1 all the way through b51. So both labels, one for each variable, GPA, comprehensive exam, and all the scores. I'm going to go to the ribbon up top, select insert, and then select a scatter chart. I'll change this background to blue to make this a little easier to see. So we can see here we have the comprehensive exam on the y-axis and the GPA on the x-axis. So to see the equation for the line formed by these points, I go here to the right to the plus sign chart elements, and then trend line, and more options. And here I'm going to display equation on chart. And I'll close this, and I'm going to move the equation over, it's more visible. y equals 12.866 times x plus 13.481. So 12.866 is the slope, and 13.481 is the y-intercept. I'm going to copy this equation, Control-C, and just move it to, the, to one of the cells, Control-V. Change the font color to automatic, and increase the size a bit. From this point, now that we have this equation, I'm going to use the slope function to generate the slope and the intercept function to generate the intercept. So I'll start with the slope and first I'll create a label and then it'll be equal sign slope and then you can see there are two arguments here known y's and known x's. The first argument consist of the known y's, so I'm going to select B2 all the way through B51, then comma, the known x's, that'll be A51 back up through A2. And then hit enter, and we can see we have a slope 12.866 matches the slope from the equation for the line. If I go into this function in the function bar, and use the F4 key, I can make these absolute references instead of relative references, and that'll make it easier for me to build the next function. So I'm just going to autofill this current function down one, create a space, and then put in a label, intercept, and then go into the function that I autofilled and change the function slope to the function intercept. Notice here that the arguments for the intercept function are the same as the arguments for the slope function, known y's and known x's. So the only thing I need to do here is to delete the slope function and insert the intercept function. So this returns an intercept of 13.48. So you'll notice here that the intercept in the equation is 13.481 and this intercept is 13.480. That's because there are more digits displayed to the right of the decimal here. This is more precise. And you can see the next digit past the zero, the fourth digit to the right of the decimal, is five. So this will be rounded up. And if it was shortened to just three digits to the right of the decimal, it would be 13.481. So what I can do at this point is I can use the slope and the intercept to create the equation, but I'll include the value of x so that with the GPA, 
I can generate a predicted value for the comprehensive exam. So I'll start with the GPA and I'll use 3.1. So with a GPA of 3.1 I want to predict the comprehensive exam score using the slope and intercept. So y equals mx plus b so this value would be the y value the one we want to appear in this cell so the equation will be mx plus b. So that'll be equal sign slope shift 8 for asterisk then the observation in this case 3.1 and then I'll add the intercept so the predicted value of y here is 53.36 I hope you found this video on using the slope and intercept functions in Excel to be useful as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you